um, Don't Forget to Rock. Very excited to be here with Alex and Doyle and Trixie Lou of Doyle. Thank you, fellas, for joining me. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Yeah, that was a color show. I feel like I was pummeled with the sledgehammer. Would you like, would you like another butter? A really good. Maybe after. Well, ease the pain. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was awesome. I loved your acrobatics, climbing up on shit and it stuff. It was like we were playing on a slip and slide. Yeah. They had the stage covered in rubber for some reason. <laughs> okay. Got to challenge yourself, right? Well, I mean, normally I like things covered in rubber, but walking on them is a little hard. <laughs> So we're a couple days after Christmas. I don't know if you guys celebrate in the commercial sense of Christmas, but hopefully you guys had a good holiday. I went to see King Kong on Broadway. Oh, really? In New York City, right? Yeah. I was just there a couple days myself, but did not see it. How was it? Great. Yeah. That's awesome. What about you? Did you see it as well? Well, my friend Bill was there from out of the country and she's never been around through there so she wanted to go and even though I completely hate all human beings and it's really a lot of human beings that time of year walking around there and it's chaotic. I took her through there and only snapped a couple of times but we did okay we had a good time yeah everyone was near Rockefeller Center when I went in oh, yeah. just madness <laughs> so um, what is your favorite meal to eat at Christmas time vegan meal Butters. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Well, no. <laughs> Trixie likes. Trixie loves. Is Trixie spoiled for Christmas? Trixie spoiled every day. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Must be fun to just unwind with the dog after the show. Yeah, that's what I would enjoy. She's a top flight security specialist. Top flight. <laughs> so I know um, before you became vegan, you were just eating chicken. That's kind of where I'm at. Where you know, if I do eat meat, it's chicken, but. It's be quality. But I just started uh, discovering in Cambridge, I'm from Boston, so in Boston, Cambridge, there's quite a few vegan places popping up. And, you know, I'm I surprised. Had, yeah, I was surprised too, but now that I've started Isn't trying... is Boston just drunk Irish people? You would think, yes. <laughs> but you know, there's hipster places. Oh there. God. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> but you know, I've been trying vegan food and I have to say, it, I've it's noticed great, a right? difference. You know, I, Within 30 minutes, I feel like more energy, clear-minded, focused, happier. It does make you happy. Yeah. It always makes me happy. <laughs> so, I wanted to ask about uh, your record label, Launch Demand Records. How's the operations going with that? And I know you're trying to expand it. Yeah, we're signing uh, Megadeth. Yeah. Metallica. Oh. Um, we got uh, Slayer. Was on the fence, but we were talking to Queen, but they had some problem with Freddie. They couldn't, I don't know, he wouldn't show up or something. I don't know, but Lamb of God, yeah. Anthrax, no, no kidding. We're gonna sign all those bands. All of them. Yeah. That's quite a mission to have. Hey, they know what side the bread's buttered on. You just gotta tell them how the grass grows. <laughs> They've seen how we roll. Yeah, totally sign you can have all of this luxury, <laughs> these luxury accommodations right here in this box truck. Bunk beds? Yeah, bunk beds. <laughs> Top or bottom? We don't want bunk beds. <laughs> so I'm kind of on the same page as you with uh, Spotify because I know you. Oh, uh, fuck them. You know they're stealing music. I mean, yeah, fans don't prison. even get paid a cent per listen. It's madness. Well, the thing is, like, you gotta think if it's trickling down through 100 people from the label all the way down to the artist, it's like then you got like. Say even like Apple Music where you're paying like nine dollars say a month for like unlimited, like you play like a dozen million albums, like you know, it's like how much of that fraction of a percentage of that nine dollars after they take their cut and everything do you think trickles down to the labels until the before it gets to the working stiff, you know, it's like it's like we ain't in the music business no more, we're in the t shirt business. We we, we we come out and shake our little ass and sell you some t shirts and that's what we do for a living. Yeah, I know a lot of fans are relying on touring and like you said, meet and greets to make up for the fact that you know albums aren't being purchased yeah. like they used to be. Which so, kind of somebody made... I know went to the Spotify office and was like, "You had to see this fucking place. It was fucking insane. It was gigantic and everything was fucking mint and super expensive. Fuck them." Well, that's fraud. 
to hard to get back on tour after the holiday? No. no. We never stopped. We so just kind of like it. took a breath and then oh, jumped right yeah. back. <laughs> She's had enough. We toured like nine months this year. Never gets old. Oh, it gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's old, but what the fuck else are we gonna do? It's like, like. Oh, you know. gonna, they gonna sell you a cheeseburger or something? Like, what's the thing with them now? <laughs> what's what's the next stop? Uh, New Hampshire. Oh yeah, that's right, Manchester. Yeah, the Jewel. I'm gonna bet with a name like the Jewel, it is not it's much more of a like Jewel. a ball. Yeah, <laughs> a testicle, if you will. Do you prefer these smaller, intimate venues? No, hell venues? no, man. No. You said small stage was. Yeah, you couldn't really Are move around much. Me? Oh. No, and it's 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 bullshit for it's like like the thing is like 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 some of the fans think oh it's cool to see you that up close and personal but the thing is they're not getting the full show you give us like a enough stage to actually work and we you know we can put on the full show it's like up there it's like playing with a leash on it's like playing with like a chain around your neck it's mm -hmm. like, like you can't put on your show and well these people paid the same money as people who seen it in the big hall or something where they got to see the full ass production. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> it was pretty small. But how do you feel about fans putting their camera phones right in your face while you play? Does it bother you? I think they all suck. Yeah. There's an entitlement that, that, that music fans have that I don't think exists in any other like like possible like vocation you could have. I mean, it's like if you walked into like a 7-Eleven, a gas station, anywhere like that, and you went up to the person at the counter, you start slapping their leg, or you start grabbing at them, <laughs> grab their dick, right. fucking, or you fucking like filming start them? filming them or whatever. You know, you wouldn't be surprised if you got punched in the face. But yet, if we like punch somebody in the face, we're the dicks. Like fucking, like they were just a fan. They just wanted to grab your fucking penis while yeah. you're playing. They just want to fucking shine a light in your face while you're trying to work. They just want to fucking. It's like, but they you're don't the dick. Understand you're working up there. Yeah, you're yeah. the asshole. And they don't own you. It's like it's like uh, like like just go up to somebody at any 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 other job you want to and do the same thing that you do to people playing on the stage and see what happens. It's like and then don't be surprised. Yeah, I feel like people should just live in the moment. Oh. You know. It's like you pay enjoy the show with your head. You paid X eyes. amount of money to see a performance, and it's like that don't include a hand job. That don't include <laughs> fucking you know nothing. It's like you came to see a performance. We're gonna give you that performance. And we're gonna give you the best performance we can possibly give. But like, you know, leave us the fuck alone while we do it. They grab your balls, you punch them in the face, and they're like, oh, the fans made you. No, they didn't. We made the fans. We made the art. We made the fans. Yeah. Right. Your music the ch the made them before a the yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's that's the most like like fucking entitled horse shit I we ever fucking ourselves. heard was like right. the whole like the fans made you or whatever. No, it's like fucking you obviously did something that made them a fucking fan. It's like that's the whole fucking like it's like stupid. It's like it's like 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 the whole American like like audience has just become this whole like like kind of like entertain me oh, blah, 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 blah. like fucking it's so lame it's like uh, that's why it's always better like playing to like the European audiences and stuff because so, they're still into it they're still fans of it they're still like like excited about the music and about the art and what you're doing it's like it's like uh, I don't know it's lost something here no I totally agree I've seen. Um Live shows of bands in Europe and South America. And the Way fans better. are they're, in, they're into it. Yeah. yeah. They make noise. You have black yeah. fuckers work. Yeah. yeah. It's like the eighties and nineties. Like still, you know, it's like still like fucking like people like raging. Still people like losing their shit and stuff and enjoying. And then the more energy, it's like a generator. The more energy they put out, the more energy we put out, and it goes back and forth until so like you just have an awesome fucking show. All the wind comes out. You're like, oh. Yeah. It's like, how are you supposed to fucking perform the? And it's like these people will be all like, oh, 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 and then all of a sudden afterwards they're like, that's the greatest show I've ever seen. Stuff like, like we couldn't tell. Like, fucking, yeah. like okay. you motherfuckers are asleep. Call us names. Do something. Yeah, do yeah. something. Say something. Do I something. mean, ACDC goes to South America. They create a earthquake. Because yeah. They're jumping so much and people here are just zombies, you know. Well. That's why we're trying to remind people to rock. <laughs> Don't forget to rock. So 2018 is coming to an end, which is crazy. What has... Electromatic. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what a great name. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's No, I was just going to ask, uh, what has been a highlight of 2018? Whether personal or as a band? Oh, God, I don't know. Too many? I, don't know. I got this pretty sweet hat. 
That's pretty sweet. Yeah, <laughs> that's 2018. Got a western side to you? Uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm putting out a country and or western album, like, because... Both well, country. Yeah, because... <laughs> Cause it's like we obviously ain't gonna make no money doing this shit, so fucking I'm gonna go over there and fucking make us a little change, so we can fucking retire and sit on the beach and drink those little drinks with the little umbrellas in them and whatnot. Fucking play with Trixie Lou. <laughs> well, that's better than mumble rap. I'll I take mean, whatever. Terrible. Make a dollar. I mean, hell, <laughs> make a dollar at fifteen cents. <laughs> cool. And any hopes or wishes for 2019? Besides what you just said, you know, retiring on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Another Come day. Okay. Like 2019 is uh, the 20th anniversary of Kansas Slug, the world's greatest rock and roll band, and so there may be some, 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 some surprises there. But uh, as for us, we'll just keep doing what we do. 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> 20 twin twin. Well, I want to thank you guys for your, your okay. time. Well, How about well. another butter now? Yeah. Um, oh, you went yeah, through those yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. That's how <laughs> we you. roll. Uh, we'll down the sleeve of those in a hot second. It's only one pack. <laughs> you need some more? Probably. <laughs> well, this is Jen with Don't Forget to Rock. Don't here forget. with Doyle. And Don't Forget to Rock. <laughs>